In my previous video, we talked about and compared an Athlon 2 against a Phenom 2. Both were 2.8 GHz and 2 cores. The Phenom pulled ahead, but not by that much. So going in the other direction, how would an Athlon 64 X2 compare against an Athlon 2 X2? And, you know, both at the same clock speeds. Here, I have an Athlon 7850 X2, which was actually only released 6 months before the 240E, and it also runs at 2.8 GHz. As you can see, the multiplier and frontside bus speeds are the same. However, the 240E uses a higher hypertransport speed. Also, the cache setups are different between the two. The newer 240E has more L2 cache, while the 7850 has less L2 cache, but actually has 2 megabytes of shared L3 cache. The 7850 is built on 65 nanometer technology with a 95 watt TDP, while the 240E is 45 nanometer and has a 45 watt TDP. So two very different CPUs. So let's see how this older chip compares against its younger sibling. One thing that I want to mention first though is that the 240E is an AM3 CPU, so it can take advantage of DDR3 memory. I'm testing both of these chips on the same board, which is an AM2 Plus with DDR2 memory. In my experience, the performance between DDR2 and DDR3 isn't huge in real life tests, so I'm personally not too concerned. However, this is something I'm planning on benchmarking in the future. So let's get to it. Passmark CPU tests show the 64 pulling ahead, but only very slightly. The final score shows the 64 is four points higher, with the individual tests swinging slightly in either direction. The Passmark memory test, however, has the Athlon 2 pulling ahead by nearly 100 points. 7-zip was close, however, the 64 pulled ahead on average, compressing about 240k faster and finishing 40 seconds sooner. Cinebench was also very close, and it wasn't really until the end of the benchmark that you see the Athlon 2 pulling ahead. The two finished about 30 seconds sooner and 42 points higher. Handbrake also was super close, with the Athlon 2 finishing about 3 minutes sooner with an average encoded FPS of 0.4 FPS higher. This YouTube test consists of playing a 1080 30fps video in a browser with all hardware acceleration disabled. I'll leave it up to you to decide which one did better here. The stats window showed the Athlon 2 dropped more frames, but I found it not to be the most accurate reading. To me, however, it looks like the Athlon 64 actually kind of muscled its way through much smoother. Heaven, like before, had its resolution turned down to 720 on each to keep from maxing out the GPU as much. The Athlon 2 pulled ahead here, finishing with a slightly higher score and average frame rate. In the Unreal Tournament 3 benchmark, oddly enough, the 64 consistently had a higher FPS and wound up scoring an average of about 5 FPS higher. In GTA San Andreas, the frame rates were nearly identical between them. Both ran perfectly smooth. And really, at these frame rates, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but both felt exactly the same. And as usual, here are the settings I use for GTA 4. As I always say, it's not about the max FPS, but more about uniformity between the tests. And once again, the frame rate between the two is just about the same, as is the frame times and average CPU usage. The benchmark results show similar performance as the Athlon 2 only pulled ahead by about a fraction of an FPS. Y-Cruncher was interesting. I ran the test several times, and each time the Athlon 2 finished in essentially the same amount of time. The 64, however, was far less consistent, finishing in anywhere between 7 to 15 minutes. There were no background processes eating up the CPU time, and I monitored the temps, but nothing really was out of the ordinary. It just couldn't deliver the same performance each time. Regardless, the best score I could get was 7.2 minutes for the 64 and 4.5 for the Athlon 2. 
so the Athlon 2 finished about 3 minutes sooner. You can see that the Athlon 2 and, and Phenom 2 from the previous video scored nearly the same, while the 64 was much slower, even slower than the Core 2 Duo. Looking at the apps bar graph, the 64 scored higher than the Athlon 2 in both 7-zip and Passmark. The Athlon 2 scored higher in everything else, but just barely. As we saw with games, the 64 and Athlon 2 showed similar scores. In Heaven, the Athlon 2 pulled ahead, but only by a little over 5%. However, in Unreal Tournament, the 64 pulled ahead by nearly 3%. Both GTS showed them to be nearly identical. And another thing you'll notice is how even the slowest AMD CPU pulled ahead of the Core 2 Duo, except in GTA 4. As usual, if you made it this far, I want to again say thank you. Uh, please let me know what you what you think in the comments, and let me know of any you know other ideas that you'd like to see and I'll see what I can do to, uh, to do them. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll talk to you in the comments. See you later. Bye-bye.